Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? This is Samuel Leggett again, um, representing Team JVS Prayer Time. So this is still technically, well, actually it's now starting week number two um, of the prayer time, but this is piggybacking off of how are you feeling? Um, every week, what I'm going to try to do as best of my ability, uh, God willing, is after Saturday, whatever you guys' comments are, I'm going to comment on in this way. It's not, <laughs> it's just very different. Um, I apologize the way I look. I have not shaved or anything like that. Um, I actually haven't said that. I should have said that. <laughs> you guys have been looking rough. Um, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew that um, I'm listening, I'm watching, and you guys' comments are valuable to me. I know for a fact, like, um, the Lord is watching out for you guys and valuing whatever your thoughts and your hopes and your dreams and your concerns may be um, specifically right now. But I do want to go and just say to you guys, like, um, I love you. I thank God for you. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Happy Easter. I pray you guys are having a nice meal with family and friends. If you're not able to be around family and friends, I pray you guys have some kind of moment with them, just interaction virtually or on Skype or over a phone call. And the family that is with you is in your home right now. I pray that you have like an amazing meal with them, look at a movie with them or some kind of interaction. But if you do have any kind of time today, I would, I would say that it would definitely bless you to just kind of talk to God, like have a moment to think about like, yes, like today is about the resurrection of Jesus. Yes, today is about like his love, his devotion for us and what he's willing to sacrifice, you know, holding on to our sin and just to allow us to be relinquished from everything that we've had to go through up until that point. But I think that it's even more pivotal that we go and Go to God about all the different things that worries us that we're thinking about and just allow him to be able to feel like you be able to be comforted by his presence and just in meditation and time with him. And I would recommend you do it with your family. Like you guys as a family collectively go and just pray together like and just kind of like hold hands and just like give thanks for like breath of life and thanks for friends and family and just being able to go and find some kind of way to be a mediator processes in the heart, um, heaviness that might be on you or your family or the person right next to you, um, whoever they are. So, um, but to go into this really quick, the way that I'm going to handle this is I'm going to just kind of like look over some of you guys' comments and I'm just going to kind of like take time to acknowledge them. Um, I may pray over some of them, I might not, um, but that's that's what I'm gonna do now all of these I've already seen already except for one that just came like maybe five hours ago um, but I will acknowledge you by your um, UI name and then I'll make a comment or a prayer or whatever um, I'm not gonna read those back because I feel like I think it's more important for everybody to interact together as opposed to me just you know blurting out what people are really feeling and right now I'm looking through rinse and Ma's uh, thoughts and 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 process through all of this. I did already comment back to them. I'm not sure if it's a girl or a guy, um, but I am letting you know, like I am really happy that your computer is working, that um, you have means to be able to interact. I know for a fact, like it's easy to go stir crazy um, and just kind of battling through all of this. Um, but yeah, I, I know it can be really hard. Um, and I can't even imagine like from certain certain people around the world, like their consequences are different. Like some people literally can't not go anywhere. Um, now where I am, it is mandated. If you go outside of your home, you have to have a mask. So now people are making makeshift masks in order to leave or go anywhere. Now, um, I, I, I just know that I want to acknowledge you and let you know that my prayers and my heart go out to you. Um, and I'll just pray real quick. Heavenly Father, God, I pray right now. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she, oh Lord God, but I pray right now that you just meet them at their heart's needs, Lord. Um, the desires of their heart is to be at peace, to feel your presence, to be able to know that things are going to be all right, to find some kind of way of lifting up this like weight and like hesitation and fear. I rebuke and mind any kind of resurfacing depression. 
I ban those things right now in the name of the blood of Jesus. I pray right now your joy might be upon them. And you just might be able to nurture them, their family, and their friends as a collective right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, the the next person that I had, um, I actually commented on his as well. Um, I, I don't think he would have an issue with me saying who he is. But Blackwing2040, uh, he has been probably the only moderator for Team JBS from the chat. Um, so I thank God for Jonathan. Jonathan is an amazing man of God. Jonathan in due time is going to be an amazing voice actor or slash actor. Um, and at the same time, like, I know for a fact, like, he's about to graduate. And, like, I think his graduation got postponed. And he's just battling just that realization of what's really happening, what's really going on. Um, as well as, like, he has some concern for, like, the comic book industry. Because right now, the comic book industry is in... It's in a spiral. There are only certain comic book stores that have the ability of being able to go and mail out comics and package them effectively. Um, there's one that's in our area in DMV. Um, it's called Third Eye Comics. They're really doing a really good job of going and packaging out people's boxes, getting the comics out to them. But that's not the case everywhere in the world. Some people, some, some places don't even have comic book stores. There's only one comic book store in the area. And that they might not have that ability to be able to package and send it. So definitely, the industry is definitely going through a lot. Um, but that goes for not just the comic book industry. Imagine like, like the music industry or CD sales. Thankfully, they've evolved and maneuvered through to do a lot more digital content and everything. There's not anybody that I know of anymore that, that buys CDs. Um, the DVD and the physical copy industry, like me, like I'm a collector. Like I love picking up physical copies. That's not something that's even a good idea anymore because now like you know you gotta go and wipe your stuff off to get it and you don't know where things are gonna go um and just in general like the entertainment industry is taking a really heavy turn um so i definitely understand where john uh, where blackwing is actually coming from uh, with his thought and worries and concern over this but i think that it's probably more disheartening for him is that he spent so many years going and grinding and like trusting God um, to be able to kind of like show and celebrate with family for graduating. And I think at the end of the day, my comment to be a Jonathan, I don't understand I'm, I'm going to pray, but um, I would say like take solace in knowing that you have done it. Like you have made it. You finished the race. And there's greater things yet to come in your path as a man of God, as a... Um, entertainer and also as a business person like those are things those are coming regardless of something saying that it's delayed or stopped like that doesn't matter like your um destiny and life is still here you still have breath of life and you still have a destiny that god's got to maneuver forth with you so i know it's really it's really hard i know for a fact that i know family members and friends that they were finishing up phd programs they're finishing up other things and they're not able to go and do those things. There are people that have planned trips that they've never gone to with their families this year. They can't do that. I know people that are having like children in the midst of stuff like this right now. And it's kind of like, I mean, me personally, like, me and my wife, we just like went through like anniversary and we had to celebrate it here. I went through a birthday, I had to celebrate it here. So, but you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, yeah, it sucks that we can't, conventionally celebrate things in the way like we know them we do but i'm more thankful that i still have my health i still have breath of life i still have like my ability being able to move and talk and we have to be able to find like the positive within the midst of whatever's going to going on and black Wayne, definitely love you brother and um keep your head up let me know if you want to talk rl like we can definitely skype and chat it up and pray um and if you want to go to like i suggested to him we go and have like a really in-depth conversation about um, the entertainment industry as a whole, like, what's really being affected. <clears throat> and then the last person that left a comment, I want you guys, the more more you guys to leave comments in the in the comment section with the hashtag feelings, um, so we can kind of go over it, um, is um, Prodox PNM. Um, he basically was just kind of talking about how he's been stuck in this situation for 25 days. He, um, he or she lives in France, and it's just been a lot like and it looks like it's 
gonna be pushed even longer. And to be honest with you, like I, I feel the same exact way as them. Um, I don't think that this is something that's just gonna be fixed really soon. Um, when I saw the notice for um, Comic Con, WonderCon specifically, going to online as opposed to like delaying, like I knew that like they just can't take these kind of risks, and it sucks because I think that the the government really wants to start everything back up because the economy is just taking such a fleeting like hope that they don't know where it's going to go if things don't start back to normal but it's like there's no there's no way around it at this point because if you do start things back up you run the risk of it spreading quicker again china is definitely an example of that they started doing really well and then they start stuff back up and then it just went out of control all over again um but i um i would say that i'm gonna leave a prayer for for that one because like it's easy to fall into like worry and concern and like i don't know just self-defeat because you kind of like in like a position where you can't do or say or change any of it like it's like it's happening to you and it almost feels like kind of like torture and so I'm just going to pray and close this out. Heavenly Father God, I pray right now for this individual that, and not just this individual, other people that might be feeling the same exact way of feeling as though they're in a prison. They're feeling tortured. They're feeling like there's no hope. Um, I pray right now you just help and uplift and just push into them that they might be able to feel your joy they might be able to feel your your um, strength to be able to maneuver through all of this because it's not something that's easy. It's actually something that they've never had to deal with before ever. There are certain places in the world that people have had to deal with this all their life, but this is it's not the same for everybody. It's not everybody's testimony. So Father God, I pray right now you just continue to lift us up with your light and your love, your comfort, oh Lord God, put people in place that they might be able to be. Um, just people of character that might be able to motivate and strengthen and push into um, each other, oh Lord God. Father God, I pray right now that anybody that's dealing with stress or anxiety or any kind of like frustration, uh, if you can bind that right now in the name of the blood of Jesus, I pray, oh Lord God, that they might be able to find your peace, they might be able to find just patience, that they might be able to find like in the midst of like all this turmoil that's going on mentally emotionally and physically you're just unwavering just trust and uh reconciliation with within their own circumstance oh lord god i pray right now that you just are not in their heart and their mind fleeting but uplifting that you might be um something that they might be able to hold on and gravitate to oh lord god and if they don't believe or trust or have any kind of relationship with you oh god i pray that you might put somebody in their pathway oh lord god that might be an impact it might be able to be an intercession that might be able to be someone of vigor that they might be able to help stand in the gap with that individual oh lord god right now oh lord i pray for those things right now in the name and by the blood of jesus i pray oh lord god you just bless our nations not just our nation, but all across the world, people that are dealing with these circumstances that we have no idea where things are going to go. There's not been any kind of confirmed vaccination or any kind of confirmed end date of where things are going to go. I just pray, oh Lord God, you meet us at our knees. You help us. You guide us. You keep us. You bless the leaders. They might be able to use discernment in the way that they interact with us so that we might be able to be protected underneath your strength, underneath your love, not by man, but by you, Lord. I pray for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, hopefully that blessed to help some of you guys, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Um, talk to you on Monday. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Jesus loves you guys. So do I. Peace.